Welcome to the episode of uh, Jay Leno's Garage Restoration Blog. Oh my God, we are so close. We are so close. This is obviously our, our Lotus. Uh, Jim has uh, just done an amazing job. Pear is painting the body and preparing it right now. We got the tires on. Now it's starting to look like a car. And, and these are real racing tires, aren't they? Look they how, are. Uh, look how sticky they That's a sticky <laughs> tire. Boy, that's amazing. Uh, you know, it's such, it's such huge rubber for a Lotus, isn't it? Well, it is, and, and you'll enjoy this. But it fits inside the fender wells. Yeah, that's the yeah. important thing. Yeah. It would have been nice to have old vintage Goodyear Blue Streaks or vintage right. Firestone race tires. Uh, they aren't available. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that's why we're using the Avons. Yeah. But, well, it's a British car. It's a British tire, so uh, yeah, it's appropriate. Fantastic, fantastic. As you, I think we've just about covered everything. I just wanted to show what uh, we did with the wheels. Come along here. As you can see... Uh, Jim has painted the centers. I guess that's, it looks black, but it's gray, isn't it? It's a gray. What I tried to do is, on the original race cars, the wheels were magnesium, just would have been dipped. Right, right. And they would have been this color, only it would have been a type of dip. Since this has got to live for a long time without changing tires, uh, we went with an epoxy to seal right. them up, this paint. And then Dirk, our uh, polishing meister, Worked really hard getting the this magnesium polished up like yeah. a mirror, and uh, yeah, they really they, looks they look good. really good. And we have our knockoffs right here, obviously, and safety drill, obviously as well. Uh, we put a little bit of insulation here. Yeah, where the tunnel goes through the car, it, it tends to vibrate and cause yeah. noise, so you like having that uh, dynamat in there. Really, this is just pretty much a Lotus on steroids. Everything is beefed up. Everything is stronger. Where the rubber donuts used to be here. So we got constant yeah. velocity joints. Constant velocity joints there. Once again, we have our six-speed sequential gearbox by Quaif. I'm really excited about this. I can't <laughs> wait to just bang, 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 just slam shift this thing through the gears. It's going to be fantastic. Engine's in. We're real close. The body's being painted now. And uh, well, where well, is the body now? Is it in the... Uh, it's in the spray booth. Ooh, we can come take a look. We'll go take a look at it in the spray booth. Come on, let's check it out. Okay, here we are in the spray booth. And this is a... Real factory 26R body. Absolutely. Uh, I would be surprised if there were more than a couple of these that made it out of the factory. So this is the real thing. Uh, this is exactly as the factory racer looked, and it doesn't weigh. I mean, the two of us could. Pick, I mean, it's hilarious. This would be almost as light as the Ariel Atom, maybe 100 pounds more, something it's like that. It's gonna be really close. I'm excited yeah. to see this on the scale. Yeah, yeah, we can't wait to put it on the scales. And I'm not getting on the scale, but we'll, uh, we'll put this on the scale as well. I see Jim has made the modifications for the Quaif gearbox. Painters always get paint in the threads, and then, you know, all that time you spent cleaning the threads, right, you gotta right. do it again. So I convinced Pear that we'll put these, uh, these silicone plugs in there right. so every place we've got threads will be able to put the stuff together pretty easily uh, and and pairs really worked his tail off on yeah. this thing too um, so the next time you see this it'll be painted so uh the lotus is coming along we are very very close and we get it then we'll string all these together and you'll see this car being built from start to finish so uh pretty cool see you next week <laughs>